The government to launch an aggressive rebuilding program for scores of Bahamians affected by Hurricane Matthew. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Latterly. And good evening. I'm Charisma Robinson. Today, the exigency order went into effect, allowing goods to be imported duty-free and locally purchased items VAT-free. It's a crucial link for the recovery and rebuilding processes. Over the weekend, while visiting one of the hardest-hit communities, Low Sound and Andres, rather, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie promised residents that they'll have the needed help every step of the way. Clinton Watson reports. So I expect um, to have Andrews up and running, this part of Andrews up and running shortly. And that's a bit of good news for the people of North Andros, devastated by Hurricane Matthew. It comes after most of Low Sound was destroyed after two strong surges literally covered the coastal community. Willie Farrington, his girlfriend, and two kids were at home when the strong storm surge almost washed them out of the house. He said by that time, it was impossible to evacuate. I just had to like kneel down in the water to keep the door open and the debris from actually Coming closing in. the door for the water to flow. Where was your family when this was going on? They was in the ceiling. The ceiling? In show the me, show me where. Closet. I put them up here. They were up in the ceiling? In the, uh, up in where the, those blankets are? Yeah. If I didn't stay next hour, we were, we was gone. Wow. Yeah, then my family would have died. I'm sure you never expected this to happen. No, no. You? Someone had told me Thursday, Friday morning, I would have woken up homeless. I would have said no. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie noted that the first aircraft of relief items landed in North Andros from Saturday. He says the idea is to bring immediate relief. So we're going to have a constant supply of, of food, stuffs, um, water, etc., to ensure that people are properly resourced. We're going to, the building teams will be in here. Um, every effort will be made to house people who are without houses immediately. That's th taking place now by social services. Mr. Christie also noted that the government is committed to rebuilding homes. We know that we have to move ahead with speedy construction. Many people have had their homes destroyed or all on the waterfront. Mm -hmm. We have to seriously consider whether we rebuild notwithstanding the fact they may have lived there for 60, 70 years, and that we have to seriously consider rebuilding only to be impacted again by another hurricane. And even when we rebuild, we have to take into consideration now the reality of surges. Debbie's home of 42 years was flattened. She said the pain of seeing it for the first time was indescribable. Thanks to people like Chief Counselor Brian Clare and his wife, who have been cooking meals around the clock for those left homeless, they've been able to eat during this difficult time. It's home. That's what I know was home. That was all I had. What are you feeling now today? Hopeful. Why hope? Because... You and people around me, I hope I would get the help that I need. A lot of these homes that would destroy a large families, a lot of young kids, and then when you see the kids hanging on their mother, when you see the kids hanging on their mother, gown tail, you know, with nowhere to go, you know, it's, 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 kind, it's, it's really sad. And that's why my wife took it upon herself to, to try to feed as much, as much people as possible. Man. And despite the sheer devastation around this community, it's love like this that keeps people like Debbie going. This is her grandson, Keyshawn, and he's hanging on to her with every might, hoping that tomorrow will be a better day. And that alone gives this family and these communities hope to continue in the midst of shared despair. There's still a brighter day. In North Andros, Clint Watson, Saturn S Network News.